Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Carbs and Bars. Um, today we will talk about the latest update or what will happen to our children returning to school from next week. The UK government has advised that all children will be returning to school in um, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So how do we prevent our children not catching or spreading the COVID-19 to other children and to our uh, family and especially the vulnerable relatives? Um, so I will share with you some tips. Number one tips to spread the COVID-19 is hand washing. So at least hand wash um, their hands or we show them how to wash their hands and uh, advise them to wash their hands at least 20 seconds. If soap and water is not available um, in the area or in the facility, um, they can use alcohol gel because alcohol gel is just as good as hand washing when it's not available. So my children will have one bottle each in their pack lunch from next week. And also another thing is the WHO or the World Health Organization has advised that children uh, from 12 years old and above has to wear mask. Um, so my daughter will have mask in her back from next week and she is aware that she's only wearing this um, for uh, let's say once a day so she has to keep this on her um, envelope or a small pouch after, uh, as soon as she gets to school and then she will use it again when she's ready to uh, go home on a public transport and another thing is um, I will um, advise my children to use tissue if they are going to sneeze or to blow their nose and I will teach them um, the tissue is a disposable so after use they have to dispose immediately and wash their hands or um, decontaminate their hands with alcohol gel and another thing is um, for to avoid the spread of infection, if we have symptoms or any member of the family has got COVID-19 symptoms, uh, we must not send our children to school. And uh, for us, if we have symptoms, we must um, we must have to isolate ourselves. And another thing is to advise our children not to share toys, books, or um, food at school. Um, my children, it's just my preference, they used to borrow uh, books at school, so I will um, advise them not to borrow any books at the moment because as we know, the spread of the COVID-19 virus is through droplets and then touching um, stuff like books and things like that. And also, um, we have to you know, to raise our um, immune system by eating healthy food with um, vitamin C and vitamin D. And it's not gonna hurt if we can have some multivitamin supplements. Uh, we've been taking multivitamins at home and extra vitamin D and also um, extra vitamin C. Um, only if you believe in um, multivitamins. I do believe in multivitamins because of our food. By the time our food get to the UK, um, there's a study says that the nutrients that we needed from green leafy vegetables, it's no longer there or if there is, um, it's just a very small amount. So I rely on vitamin, uh, multivitamins to up my immune system, especially when the autumn and winter comes so there is some colds and flu so our immune system is quite down and then with this COVID-19 it's just good just to have a um, supplement it's not gonna hurt so it's better to prevent than cure and another thing that I can advise for uh, parents like myself and carers um, if we can uh, practice social distancing at all times and at the gate, if we can um, avoid forming a group with other um, carers and parents for the time being 
it would help to prevent the virus because we are not sure if we are carrier because as the study says that everyone is symptomatic so and also if our children has got some COVID-19 symptoms or any member of the family has got COVID-19 symptoms we must uh, not send our children and we have to isolate ourselves as well and another thing is just my preference um there's some um, um small study says that COVID-19 virus can stay in the cardboard and also in our in our shoes for a few days so um when my children gets home they always um, remove their shoes and put them in one place and also when they go back to school i will be very more careful so they have to go straight to the utility room and get changed and i will separate their clothes and wash them immediately or if you prefer you can just put them in the plastic bag separate them and wash them in your um, convenient time and i think that's it for now if you want more um, information about this is available on the government website and if you have any question i'm very happy to answer your question just leave comments and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upload that i'm uploading every week sometimes twice a week it depends on my ability availability and that's it for now uh, be safe everyone and i'll see you soon bye bye now